Hi Libra, welcome to your April reading. This is for Libra, Summer, Rising, Venus. We'll be taking a look into the month ahead, see what messages need to come through for you guys, get some insight, wisdom, guidance, overall see what's going on, on, what messages Spirit has for you for the month of April 2022. I hope that you're doing well. If you want to follow me over on my other social media, I do have Instagram and TikTok, both at Jade Stone Tarot. You can find me over there if you wish. And let's get right into this reading and see what messages Spirit has for you for the month of April 2022. Messages for Libra, Summer, Rising, Venus in april 2022 what's going on okay just like that Ooh, we got a lot of cards <sighs> we have a lot of cards but we'll just quickly run through them so we have pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle so in the month of april you guys are really leveling up emotionally mentally physically and spiritually um you're making adjustments that better you that make you feel more positive more in alignment and as you're doing that your vibration is rising and you're just like in this beautiful harmonious energy so i love that for you we also have sisterhood of the rose beauty and devotion priestess mystic and teacher so you could be focusing a lot on like your physical appearance or your health or your wellness maybe you're trying to eat more clean or get more rest or getting more exercise or just like really focusing on bettering yourself physically and like when you do that you're also feeling good on the inside and it's just like this beautiful um energy that like you're just radiating this gorgeous ray of like sunshine like it is really beautiful and um i love that for you so definitely something to focus on this month i feel like it will bring a lot of confidence and reassurance self-assurance and also this is like your spirituality like like i said you're leveling up physically mentally emotionally and spiritually this month and um you may be teaching others or you may be learning from like a mentor or someone that you look up to um you know diving into the spiritual arts or meditation practices or reading cards or astrology or something to do with like the healing realm so that's something to keep in mind as well we have min takan min takan <laughs> longing for home belonging and the original light worker so you may actually be like a light worker yourself or a reader yourself or again something to do with the healing arts or maybe that's something that you're discovering this next month is like you're realizing how much you really resonate with it or how it interests you so that's definitely something that you could be looking into or researching or you know kind of dibble dabbling into so i love that for you if you've been feeling to do that if you had that calling to go after those kinds of things definitely give it a try this month you don't know where it's going to take you um you may be feeling a little bit lonely or like you're longing for some sort of community or long to feel like you're you belong what the hell am i saying you feel <laughs> you like you want to feel like you belong you want to have a community of people who can support you who are like-minded who have similar goals visions and aspirations and so maybe this month ahead it's like you're really coming together with your soul tribe connecting with people who are like-minded connecting with people who you can relate to um we, oh my god underneath that we have soul family no kidding wow soul family calling your tribe you don't have to do it alone okay i love that these cards were meant to come out i was really like mm, should i take all these cards and my gut was like yes bitch you pass on the messages and i am and these cards are just tying in one by one by one it's absolutely amazing you're calling in your soul fam you're calling in your tribe you're calling in your people you and all these other people like when <laughs> let's go back to how you are focusing on bettering your yourself and leveling up and raising your vibration raising your frequency you maybe have recently gone through some sort of loss or many losses especially in your relationships people dropping like flies that's been kind of a theme for a few zodiac signs and so there's that energy of feeling alone feeling like you don't have that kind of support wanting it and craving it and that's the thing it's like you could i'm getting tongue-tied because i'm talking so fast i need to slow down you experiencing those losses created the space for new individuals new souls new connections to come in so although the loss may have been painful and really uncomfortable triggering this is happening for you 
and there are better things that are coming in okay we also have transformation wow things are changing at a cellular level deep healing so there's major healing taking place this month and you are really undergoing this massive transformation libra so take it easy on yourself have patience towards yourself everything is working out the exact way that it needs to and you are in alignment you just keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track and everything's unfolding the way it's supposed to so i like that a lot let's pull some animal oracle cards to go along with this but wow what a interesting start to this reading messages for libra summer night and venus we are in aries season so there's that opposition going on between you and Le you and aries we have the full moon in your sign coming up right this month I, I think we're heading into a or did we already have the full moon no we had the full moon in virgo so we had the next full moon in your sign and i think we're also approaching eclipse season so i'm not sure because the eclipses are going to be in scorpio taurus but i'm not sure if like we're having like a partial eclipse this month i'm gonna have to i'll put it somewhere on the screen because i don't want to be spreading false information <laughs> because i honestly have no idea i haven't looked into it but i think we have a partial clips coming up this month or like pretty sure like on the 30th it was interesting because april 1st starts off with the new moon and then the last day in april april 30th is the full moon so it's like literally book end so start of the book april 1st and then the end of the month right perfect timing i don't know it's pretty interesting in my opinion let's pull some cards animal cards we got the bear so definitely something initiating oh the otter yes messages for libra lizard and the panther so like i said there's that energy of you guys need to purge some shit out of your life possibly getting triggered there's some emotionals emotional things coming up emotionals um triggers deep woundings being triggered for you to face for you to deal with and um let it out let it out do not bottle it up because sooner or later you're gonna explode it's like just think of like a bub not a bubble a balloon right every single time you get triggered and you don't let it out that balloon blows up a little bit bigger and then something else happens or something really triggers you or pisses you off or sets you off and you you hold back from speaking your truth or you know you don't want to you don't want to step on other people's toes or stir the pot so you you suck it up you you keep it inside and that bub not that bubble okay sure it could be a bubble <laughs> that balloon keeps Keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and sooner or later that balloon is gonna pop because it can only can contain a certain amount of air before it explodes and so it's like that's kind of the energy i feel from you libra you guys tend to be very balanced and with the panther coming out it's like there could be a little bit of this imbalance where you know you guys i know a lot of libras in my life who are known to be very much like the mediator trying to just maintain the sense of peace but with that being said, you're trying to keep peace in a situation, but it's disturbing your own inner peace. What's the cost? What's the cost? You holding your tongue, you holding back what you really feel, how you really feel, what's on your mind, how someone um, made you feel, you holding that in just to keep the peace. How is that keeping peace for you? Because now internally, you're feeling pissed off, you're feeling hurt, you're feeling disrespected, your boundaries are being crossed, whatever the case is. Internally, you're feeling this frustration. Internally, you're feeling all these emotions, but you're not expressing it because, oh, well, I just want to keep the peace. No. You know what? <laughs> it's airy season. Some days you got to wake up and choose violence. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But... Um, Sometimes you got to call a bitch out. Sometimes you got to confront some things and it can be scary. It can be uncomfortable, but airy season is asking you to step out of your comfort zone. And that's something that you're working on. First few steps, pretty uncomfortable, pretty challenging, not the easiest. You may stumble, take a little tumble here and there with the bear, right? Coming out of this spiritual slumber, you're waking up. It's, you know, waking up early in the morning. You want to hit snooze, 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 you lose, snooze, you lose. You want to lose? I don't think so. <laughs> um, so Libra, get your ass up, keep moving forward face your fears, step out of your comfort zone because you, where is that going to lead you? To a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment. With the otter coming out, otter is the happiest card in the animal spirit deck and this talks about step... Mm, what the fuck? I wanted to... What, this was so unrelated to the otter, but I was about to say separation. 
separation. Separating yourself from the things in your life that don't add up to your happiness or add to your uh, add to your happiness. I feel like I'm channeling a lot of messages, you guys. <laughs> it's like the, my thoughts, the messages coming through to me. My mouth just can't keep up um, or it's just getting like twisted. But for some reason, why the hell did I get separation? Perhaps that's tying in with the panther of like things that you're needing to release, things you're needing to let go of. Um, another thing it's like with the lizard coming out to the otter you guys really needing to embrace your authenticity you may be trying to water yourself down or shrink yourself to be something that you're not or trying to blend in so that you don't get attention or so that you don't um get judged or whatever but you really need to stay true to you otter is all about authenticity and removing any restrictions limitations that you've put on yourself limiting beliefs mindsets um things like that the lizard is also extremely creative energy so airy season and april it's gonna be a great time for you to go create. Maybe that will be a healthy way for you to release some um, pent up emotions or feelings that you've been keeping inward or keeping to yourself. Maybe a healthy way to release that is through some sort of artistic expression, um, channeling that energy outwards into something amazing. So those are the messages I'm getting for you. We have earth, water, and fire coming out. We have no air in, those, in these animal cards. So it's like, where are the air at, you know? Let's pull some tarot messages and see what else is going on. <sighs> messages for Libra, Summer Nights and Venus in April 2022. What's going on for Libra? What are the messages for Libra, Summer Nights and Venus in April 2022? What's going on? Any insight, wisdom, guidance for Libra in April? Messages for Libra, Summer Nights and Venus in April 2022. What's going on for Libra? Please show me clearly. We have the Seven of Pentacles. You're in deep contemplation about something. We also have the Sun contemplating what is my true happiness? What fulfills me? What do I envision for myself? What do I want for myself, my future? The King of Pentacles, you want stability. You want confidence. You want to feel secure right now. Three of Cups reverse. You may not be feeling the most uh, satisfied with where you're at, possibly in your relationships. And there's that separation energy. So like I said with the Otter, for some reason, I was like separation three of cups reverse can talk about separation so you may be in separation with someone in your someone who's not in your life right now <sighs> six of cups all oh, right and there's a lot of reminiscing could be thinking a lot about the past eight of swords you're really in your head maybe about what you said three of swords reverse empress reverse eight of cups reverse and the nine of wands okay let me just let's just hold off from pulling more cards right now so yeah you're definitely in deep contemplation about a situation from your past we're getting heavy past energy with the eight of cups reverse the six of cups then we have the three of swords three of cups reverse so i do just have to throw throw out there for some if you're in separation with like let's say an ex maybe you found out that there could have been another person involved or if this was like a situation ship maybe you all weren't like fully committed maybe you found out something about them or like some sort of truth about this situation that um ended things or broke things up between you and this individual that's a specific message won't be for everyone if the shoe fits the shoe fits if it don't don't force it um but there is this energy of looking back at a past situation something that you're working through healing three swords reverse so the pain doesn't like it's not as painful as it used to be but it's still clearly on your mind and there's still some anxiety that you feel about the situation eight of swords when you think about this person you just get like you know that tight chest your mind starts wondering what if this what if that what if i said this what if i handle this situation differently where would things be um at the end of the day you you know you could be thinking about maybe if i said this or maybe if i handled it this way we wouldn't be where we're at maybe things would be different at the end of the day what's truly meant for you libra will never pass you by and it doesn't matter what you could have said or done or what they could have said or done reality is this is what right here right now if y'all were meant to be, you would not be in this energy. You would not be in this situation. So kind of a hard pill to swallow. Another thing I'm getting is like there could be some defensive energy with the nine of wands. Like, what am I picking up from this? Like if someone really hurt you, 
you could be expecting like them to apologize but they haven't but like there's this there's these these fears that you're like even if they did apologize even if they did try to come back what would i do or what would i say or how would i handle this situation like with the eight of swords you're really like in your head thinking about all possibilities of how things could play out in the future but yet none, none of it's happened but like you're thinking about all these scenarios possibilities and it, it just stresses you out <laughs> like it doesn't matter what happens it just stresses you out you feel very anxious about this situation um yeah empress reverse that is libra energy as well as taurus energy so you guys coming through we also have leo energy coming out with the sun could be getting some sort of um illumination so hold on what else was i gonna say about this yeah like looking back at the past definitely there is a bad taste left in your mouth Like, you may be looking back at the situation or back at this connection and seeing how maybe you were played or you ignored the red flags or, um, I don't know. I feel like your perspective on this situation, on this person is changing. And there's also this very much like protective energy over your past self or your younger self. Like when you think back to perhaps what this person put you through or the shit that they caused you, the hurt that they caused you. There's like this, oh, I want to say almost like a motherly energy you feel towards your younger self. Like just pissed off that you put up with that treatment or that behavior or that you didn't stand up for yourself. And so looking back at the past, you're like, oh, I can't believe I did that. Or I can't believe I stuck around in that. Or I can't believe I... I accepted that treatment, you know, there's a little bit of that energy coming out. But what I am seeing here with the Empress Reverse, nothing about this situation is changing or growing. This can also be talking about like clinging on or holding on to the past or what had happened. So like there's still attachment there of some sort that you are struggling with fully removing yourself from. So maybe that's being highlighted this month for you to work through releasing as you're healing, as your vibration is heightening or raising or whatever the fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, we do have two threes and two eights out here. And then again, like I said, with the seven of pentacles, you're in this heavy contemplation, reevaluating where you're at on your journey, what's working for you, what isn't, changes that you may need to make, adjustments. Um, but overall, thinking about like, okay, what is, what brings me joy? What fulfills me? What do I want in this life that I'm living? What do I desire? How can I get there? What action do I need to take? And then with the King of Pentacles, it's like taking that action and making it happen. There may also be some sort of opportunity presenting itself to you. We'll definitely take a look into that. But before we do, let's pull some more cards and see if there are any other main themes, messages that are needing to come through for you. Any other messages for Libra, Summer Rising Venus in April 2022? Any messages from Libra summarizing Venus in April 2022? Messages for Libra summarizing Venus in April 2022. Any other messages for Libra? Show me clearly. We got the Fool. So there is something new beginning. King of Cups, possibly about your emotions or like <sighs> High Priestess Reverse and the Star. Ace of Wands, wow, and the Ten of Pentacles. Anything else? No, okay. Aquarius energy, Pisces energy, as well as Aries with the Fool. So there is some sort of new start or new um, endeavor, new beginning. Ace of Wands as well. I feel like this is relating to some sort of creative endeavor or some sort of passion or something that is like relating to a wish fulfillment, a dream of yours, Libra. 
And I want to say with the High Priestess reversed to the star, this could have been something like an idea or a project that you've kind of kept quiet or maybe you didn't take action on it. And now you are or maybe there's like some sort of release that you're announcing or some sort of announcement or something that you are um, like revealing. Like I'm just imagining like, you know, like like um fuck i don't know like like a play and how they have those curtains and then it's just like okay the play is about to start and then they like open up the curtains like that's just kind of the the imagery i got from that it's like something you kind of were doing in the dark keeping it a secret you know maybe it's like you are making a big announcement or there's this big release or like your business is gonna be launching something like i'm kind of picking up on that energy like something that maybe you've been doing behind the scenes or like kind of quiet you haven't been letting people know what you're doing now you're making some sort of announcement or like you're you're putting yourself out there high priestess reverse to the star it's like you know you're really showing up as your authentic self and shining brightly and um like you're exposing something that was hidden here with the with the high priestess reverse this was kept a secret or kind of kept quiet again but then with it being with the star the ace of wands and the fools like i feel like you're you're exposing something that you've been doing or learning or practicing or teaching you're now like putting it out there for like the world to see um so that's really exciting and i feel like this is gonna lead you to major success major stability lots of money in the long term all right with the ace of wands so this is like turning an idea into something that's physical and there's a lot of passion there's a lot of excitement and um maybe this is something that you've kind of been struggling with with the eight of swords it's like you kept yourself in your head having these fears these doubts what if i'm not ready what if i'm not good enough you know maybe that's something someone told you in the past you're never gonna make it libra you're never gonna do it you're never gonna whatever right and so it has you really doubting yourself or contemplating like should i do this should i not um that's just like another message but man that looks so exciting that looks really good i like that energy so much more than like this passion <laughs> but i feel like this is also relating to what's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment a lot of happiness in your life um and it's also going to bring in a lot of stability and confidence and just like, again, whatever it is that you desire, whatever it is that you're aiming for, it's yours and it's coming in very quickly. Oh yeah, and the King of Cups. And it's also emotionally fulfilling. You're also trusting your gut or you need to pay attention to your intuition, all right? Your intuition won't lead you the wrong way or the long, wrong path. Take your time, feel it out, trust your gut, trust your instincts. It's not going to fail you. But I feel like in April, your emotions are very grounded. You're showing up a lot as like, um, like king energy. So embodying more like a masculine energy of taking action, making shit happen. Um... But I, I love that for you. I really do. I feel like this is going to be a really positive month for you. Uh, stay true to you. Show up as your authentic self. And you're going to be rewarded heavily. It's reward season, okay? And like I said, um, first few steps of this journey may be a bit challenging. But, oh man, is it worth it? Is it so worth it? And, and I love that we have the otter and the sun. Like we got a lot of a lot of good fucking cards. Oh, you know what? The sun and the star. Some of you are receiving public recognition, acknowledgement, even possible fame, fortune. Ooh, fame and fortune, bitch. All right. And if that's the case, if that's the case. You know, with that past energy that we were talking about, with that Eight of Cups reverse, the Three of Swords reverse, the Six of Cups, and how you're kind of defensive or like you're very protective over yourself. Let's just say um, you become super successful and, you know, your business is popping off or your YouTube channel is going off or your TikTok or your Instagram or, you know, you're finally getting major recognition for all of your hard work and efforts. You're making all those sales. You're getting all those new clients. Like things are just going so good for you. I do just have to pass on the message, Libra. 
Don't be surprised if people from your past try to come crawling back when they see that you're successful. When they see that you are rising up, they're going to try to leech onto that. They're going to be like, oh my God, I knew Libra. We were besties. I went to school with them. <laughs> like Anything to try and, try and um, leech off you, have a slice of your pie. No, no, no. And there may be little tr- little trials, little tests from the universe seeing, will you take t- will you take back those past people? Will you let them come back in, crawling back in, strolling back in as if nothing happened so that they can get some of what you got? Because mm, that tends to happen like as soon as you let go, as soon as you ta- as soon as you detach from the past, because there was that a little bit of that attachment. Um As soon as you let go of their energy, they always be trying to crawl back. Where's Libra? I don't feel the attachment. I don't feel their energy. How come they're not thinking about me? Right? They're probably not thinking that exactly. But like, as soon as you ever notice that when you stop thinking about an individual, then you get that phone call, you get that text, you bump into them. It's like, really? Right? As soon as you let it go, they come back. They come crawling back. It's just like, you got good shit coming your way. You don't have time for distractions, Libra. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. We're going to wrap up with the reading here. We didn't have enough time to clarify, but I don't really feel like we needed to because the messages are just out here. Straight, simple, straightforward, straight to the point. Lots of different things we talked about. So use your discernment, of course. Um, but yeah, quite a, quite a good amount of major arcana. One, two, three, four, five. So pretty significant month for you, I would say. But you're headed down the right path. Things are looking up. Things are looking really positive. Get out of your head. Um, Find a healthy way to channel this frustration, this energy, these emotions out. Especially if you're feeling stuck on a past situation or there's still some healing taking place. Find something that will help you release that energy. Instead of suppressing it or ignoring it, running away from it, face it head on. Or find a way to to channel that energy outwards. It's going to be really good for you. Okay, you got some really exciting shit happening. Good shit's coming your way, especially regarding your finances, your passions. There's a lot of good shit, wish fulfillment, and major recognition coming your way. So claim it, it's yours. No ifs, ands, or buts. It is simply allow, receive, accept, let the blessings come raining down on you, okay? All right, Libra, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one. Take care.